Moscow has not to give an official response to the price cap on Russian oil agreed by the European Union. Many market participants believe that Russia will do nothing, and this means that nothing threatens oil supplies. Against this background, oil prices went down, hitting for $80 per barrel as expected. However, Russia's government never makes hasty decisions, especially on such an important issue. As uh, the Russian uh, proverb uh, says, a Russian is slow to settle up but uh, fast to write. Given that the latest countermeasures taken by the Kremlin have triggered a storm of um, outrage in the West, one should not uh, jump to conclusions. Retaliatory measures will most likely be announced at the end of the week. In doing so, uh, there is a likelihood of severe cuts in oil production, which will lead to a surge in the prices. In addition, the market is taking into account an easing of the coronavirus curbs in China. In other words, the current downtrend in oil prices is expected to be short-lived. According to the trading chart, Brent crude oil futures kicked off the new trading week with the heavy losses. The benchmark lost more than 6%. As a result, short interest uh, almost fully recovered after the assets' uh, recent correction. Notably, Brent crude will continue its downward move only after the price fixes below the control level of $80. The ruble is steadily losing value, which comes as no surprise. The dollar has already hit the level of 63 rubles. However, the dollar-ruble pair spent after hours trading around the mark of 60 rubles, and this indicates that some market participants are confident in Moscow's inevitable response to the price cap of Russian oil introduced by the European Union. As soon as Russia announces its retaliatory measures, the ruble will immediately return to its previous levels. Until then, there is a likelihood that the US dollar will edge up to the mark of 65 rubles or even higher. Meanwhile, gold made an attempt to rise above $1,800 per ounce, but then came under pressure from a stronger dollar and bounced off it. This once again confirms the inverse correlation between the US dollar and gold. As a result, the asset lost about 1.6% on Monday. If downside momentum remains intact, gold may dip to the support level of $1,700. $40. At the moment, gold is trying to stabilize around $1,775 per ounce. Given that uh, today's macroeconomic calendar is bereft of any important releases, it's unlikely to succeed. Nevertheless, data on the U.S. producer prices in the United States to be published at the end of the week may support the yellow metal thus pushing it to the level of $1,800 per ounce. The market will get back in a full-fledged upward trend only after the quote completes its correction. To resume a bullish run, the quote needs to consolidate above the $1,810 mark. And that's all for now. We wish you profitable deals. See now channel with a new video in a couple of hours.